Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO and and today I am playing more Daggerfall. Now I did check the wiki and it turns out that as soon as friggin' doors, man. As soon as uh the ghost of King Lysandus talks to you about uh Woodborne, it actually puts Woodborne's manor on your map because uh, if you remember he actually or the, the the quest log actually mentioned that Woodborne has a home somewhere in the wilderness of Wayrest so it's not in Wayrest City assuming that's the name of the capital right now but I also wow I talked to him from very far away ah hello again Castal here's the letter it is to be given to Lord Castilian, the head of the Elder Council, who is currently at his house in the Bucking House residence in Eastgate End. I'm going to write that down on the off chance that the game doesn't tell me it in the quest log. Bucking... Ham... No, Bucking House. House... In... East... Gate end. I need the letter delivered and you back here in no later than eight days. That is essential. Like I mentioned before, Lord Castilian values his privacy to an excess. Be prepared for some resistance at your arrival in the Bucking House residence. I would ask that you not read the letter as it is private correspondence. If word of its contents gets out, I will blame you. Okay. Uh, but yes, I also checked and saw that this is actually a sort of a side quest I'm on now that is not required, but will give um, some extra insight into what's going on in the story. So I'm looking for Eastgate. Eastgate end. Okay, travel time is two. Good. In fact, I'm going to cut it down to one by going recklessly. Which, of course, means it's night time. And there are a whole lot of houses. But this is a tavern. Maybe I can get some directions while I'm here. I'm looking for... not regional... general? Here we go. Uh, let's be blunt, because she looks like she's being blunt. Hi there! Point me toward the Bucking House residence. Go north, no east, no that way, northwest. Uh, how about you, sir? I despise your kind, just go away. Well, no need to be racist about it. Uh, you... Uh, how are you... Tristy Rick Yomton? Tristy Rick, that's a pretty sweet name. I'm trying to find, get to the Bucking House residence. It's really easy, you'll want to go to... You, you want to go, the Bucking House residence is northwest of where we're standing. Uh, how about... Hey, you got bucking in your name. Sorry, I haven't got a clue. Uh, you look like you're all together. Uh, northwest. Everyone's saying northwest. Northwest of here, yes. Uh, alright. So, northwest... How far northwest, though? You know, there is another thing. Info mode. Oh! Hey, it's Tristy Ricks! Residence. So this is... When you're in info mode... Good old Tristy Rick. Wait, I'm going south. There we go. Northwest. When you're in info mode, you can click house for sale on 
a bunch of different houses or buildings rather and that's how the game will tell you well, at least it's supposed to for the most part residents residents um i suppose i can double check at the gold pit but yeah, that's how the game tells you when places are open. Which is very helpful if you're trying to figure that out. Let me guess. Oh no, he wants to talk. Uh, northeast of where we're standing. Does nobody want to just put it on my map? Northeast. Northeast. Nice leg, sir. Uh, northeast. Now I know that sometimes they'll just put it straight on your map. Damn. I've been trying to avoid that particular thing. But yeah, you can... The gold pit. Why do I have a feeling it's one of these bigger ones? I'm going to save my game. Lock has nothing to fear. Of course, I don't know if this place is going to be locked or not when I... F house has nothing of value. Ooh, here we go. The Bucking House Residence. Where in the hell is the door? Oh, right here. Give it another quick save. And I heard that there will be resistance. Or maybe not. <clears throat> you wait while Lord Castilian reads the letter. His skin grows pale and his hand begins to shake. I see. Please wait here while I pen a response to Prince Helseth. It only takes him a minute to write the response, which he then hands you. Huh. He gets uh, his own little... How refreshing. A high elf with manners. Sadly, I know nothing of my own house. <clears throat> so... Yeah, so anyway, this is a... I thought they'd be combat. That's why I went recklessly, because I figured I'd need to sleep off some of my uh, healing. But anyway, um, this is a side quest that offers some more insight into the story of the game, which is part of why I'm doing it. Oh god, they put me way in the bottom left corner. Um, outside of the main quest, there's not much specific story going on in this game. Which is why I haven't really bothered delving too deeply into anything other than the initial few random quests I got from the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild. But when it comes to the other Elder Scrolls games like Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, all of those guilds do have at least something of a story to them. So I'm going to do my best to actually... The, the playlists for those games will be significantly longer than this one. Just based on that. But on the other side, it might be... They might be a little shorter because... I actually know those games as opposed to this one, which everything was kind of random. Well, not so much random, but it was all stuff I didn't know. So, whatever it is that Prince Helseth said in his letter, which uh, I decided to be a goody-two-shoes this time and not read the letter, 
Um, whatever he said was not something that the other guy enjoyed. Anyway, here's the sandals I promised. Never let it be said that Prince Helseth is not a man of his bond. Oh yes, I promised to tell you something of the situation in Daggerfall. I suspect my family has more to do with it than is commonly known. We sent advisors to urge King Lysandus and King Cameron to mend their differences on the eve of the Battle of Kringane Field. Lysandus was disgustingly loyal to the Emperor, where Cameron was fighting for more autonomy. According to the advisor's report, they arrived too late because they were waylaid by the orcs of Gortwag en route. However, I have heard stories that, at least, some of our advisors arrived at Lysandus' tent and spoke to him briefly. At this time, I cannot say more. If I receive more information, or if the situation progresses, I will certainly send you word. Well done. Your budding reputation appears to be deserved. Lord Castilian is quite pliable now. Why do I have the feeling that my attempt to be goody-goody has led to me being involved in some form of blackmail? Great. So, Wayrest sent advisors to... Um, to talk to King Lysandus and... Lord Cameron before they got into a fight. Which, that was actually... Where the hell's the Mages Guild? I think it's down the bottom left corner again. Yeah. Anyway, that is actually something interesting to note. In later Elder Scrolls games, there's only like eight or nine continents? And one of them is Daggerfall. Whereas in Daggerfall itself, this is all of what Daggerfall is. They don't have all these other weird little areas that are kind of like states in a country. Or countries in a continent, I guess. Um, so sometime between the events of this game and the next, things change geographically in a political sense, I guess. Uh, yes, and now straight west. I want to find out what these sandals do and if they're worth keeping or just throwing in the wagon and continuing about my day. And this should be the Mages Guild coming up now. Locke has nothing to fear from me. Is it too early in the... not steel. It is too early in the morning. Ah, and I gotta remember not to rest for a while. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, right. I gotta go into grab slash dialogue mode. Uh, magical items. 138 gold. What are they? Sandals of ice storms. I don't know how useful that would be. For now, I'm just going to dump it on the wagon with the rest of things, because I like having the plus seven adamantium boots. All right, now another quick save. <clears throat> but now, yes, no, not Woodsmith Manor, Woodborn. Woodborne Hall. Uh, might as well go cautiously. Since the weird thing is like, you can tell it to go by ship, even if you're moving between two locations on the same continent, and all it'll do is cost you more money. But then when you're going... Hello. When you're going to an actual place that has... Uh, an actual place that you need to get to by by sea if you leave it as traveling by uh, foot then it'll take a whole lot longer all right 
right. Let me uh, do the old recall thing. Oh, hello. All right, rogues and archers. Who also, ooh, 7 to 18, 10 to 20. That would be the kind of uh, weapon I would want to grab if I were st still working with, um, what do you call it, blunt weapons. Uh, now, some of these statues, I think... I think that might be Malakath, but I'm not sure. Or Molag Ball. One of the Daedric gods is the one that the orcs worship, and I think that might be him, but I'm not sure. And then I don't know about her. It might be just statues that they thought were really neat. Oh yeah, I forgot. Being right next to... Uh, Right next to the wagon means that I can drop off everything that I'm getting. Including the two arrows that I found in my own side. Can I eat good? Save the game here. The hell? Oh. Oh. So there's orcs hanging out with spell swords. Uh, what's that? History of the Empire. I'll grab that. And that. And that. Um, I am healthy, but it says I feel drained. So, I'm going to cure disease and cure poison just in case. And save again. And zombies? What is going on in Woodborne Hall? Freaking charging cable to my cell phone messed me up, and so I ended up taking that hit without really needing to. No loot. I should have been worried about that particular room. All right, we have an elevator, which which comes down with a clink sound. It's a very tall elevator too. This is also an elevator, but this one goes down. Is that still coming down? Jesus. Alright, what else do we have? That was a... No secret door in the back. And this is another torture room. So... I am also fairly sure that I'm supposed to be going up there, but that's kind of weird. Like, it looks like I need to hit a bunch of levers or something to make that go as it's supposed to be. And heal up that zombie attack. And the rule of right takes me upstairs in a very slow elevator. Yeah, a very slow elevator. But it's got two entrance uh, two exits at top. Oh, uh, that wasn't the top. That was almost the top. Which is a little worrisome. And a 
money and how much is the tongue weigh? Quarter of a pound? Yeah, I'll take it. And that is a secret door. I am sort of no longer used to fighting humanoid enemies. Well, I mean, I guess I was fighting a lot of zombies and mummies in the previous uh, map. Alright, so we have a bedroom with no secret doors attached. died at the exact same moment on the same tile. Ooh, but they did die slightly different. I'll take that axe because how's mine doing? It is worn. Uh, I think I'm just going to straight swap because now my ebony axe is brand spanking new. And more money, more holy tomes, gotta love them. What do these do? Resist shock and resist frost. And even if I don't actually take them, as in drink them as potions, they will still probably get me a fair amount of money. Now, I'm being extra careful to check for levers and such on the walls as I go, just because um, this dungeon seems to require torch, or not torches, uh, levers and such being messed with. Okay, that was unexpected. I was honestly just trying to touch that torch and I found a secret door that I may have required for this quest. The hell is that? Root tendrils. Touch the torch, nothing. And do another quick visual sweep of this hallway because they hid that secret door fairly well. Uh, I'm going to save on the off chance that I miss. Good. That's another elevator, this one going down. Don't want to mess with that yet. So it's never good when doors open on their own ahead of you. Uh, especially when you know that there are archers around, but thankfully, ooh, what is, oh, a Dwarven 6, Orcish 9, I'll stick with the Orcish, but uh, the archers don't like 
to actually swing at you, or sorry, they don't like to actually shoot arrows at you when they're close enough to actually swing their weapon. Alright, there's no secret doors in this section. And then that's a down elevator, which is the only other direction to go upstairs here. And it's another one that goes fairly slowly. Dead rat. And this leads to a dead end. That's weird. The bones do nothing. It is almost always easier to uh, just hit the, what do you call it, the button for mouse control like that. Alright, so in the interest of saving time, slow fall. I suppose technically in the interest of saving time I could have just hit recall and then slept in front of the doorway. Eh, but this works just as well. Oh, hello. Where in the hell did you come from, sir? What do I got for boots? Seven... Dwarvish is eight. I'll drop that. Drop that. And drop that. So, where in the hell did that guy come from? That moved down. All right, it looks like a lot of it is actually in place now. So that's going to go down and that's going to go up. So two more levers. And I'm hoping that those two more levers are downstairs. And this is a... Oh, I was going to say this is a much shorter, oh, it is actually still a much shorter elevator than before. Rogues have a way with, is that another? Jesus. They're going ham with the uh, dwarven equipment in here. But rogues have a way with having poisoned weaponry and gear, so you don't really want to mess with them if at all possible. Or at least in the sense that you want to keep them as far away from yourself as possible while doing combat with them. Another zombie, huh? Formal Brazier. Not entirely sure what the hell is that oh that's I'm seeing through the floor of the uh, the main hall I think but anyway I'm not entirely sure what kind of uh, formal functions would require a formal brazier but anyway it actually looks like I'm out of time for today so as always thank you for watching 
and I will see you next time.